As COVID-19 continues to grip the world, it may be a while before you find yourself in a large crowd. But make no mistake, that day will arrive at some point in the future. And when it does, maybe you'll be under the watchful eye of new crowd monitoring technology. Welcome to Learn Something New by NFPA Journal. Crowds. Pretty much everyone has been in one, at a concert, rally, sports game, or some other event. While you might have been cognizant of certain risks that present themselves when you're gathered in a crowd, such as fire or an active shooter scenario, did you know that a crowd itself can present risk? That's right. Crowds as a whole are like their own single, living, and potentially dangerous entities. There are ample examples of crowds turning deadly. In 2015, over 2,000 people died when a crowd turned into a stampede at a religious event in Saudi Arabia. In 1991, nine people died and 28 were injured as the crowd stormed the court after a charity basketball game in New York City. If crowd managers and AHJs could evaluate crowd dynamics in real time, using data to identify and respond to rapid changes in crowd density, movement, and other characteristics, such incidents could largely be avoided. That's the aim of a Fire Protection Research Foundation project launched last year in collaboration with the NFPA Data and Analytics Group. By this fall, they hope to release a low-cost tool that can be used by safety officials to improve their real-time situational awareness of crowds. Joining us now is Victoria Hutchison, a research project manager with the foundation to discuss this project in more detail. First off, could you just tell us a little bit more about uh, the need for a tool like this to be developed? This request really came from uh, conversations with a lot of different safety and, and crowd managers um, throughout the country. And some of, there's some tools and technologies available out there for crowd managers, but there's been a lot of problems with those in the past, largely um, that you know, a lot of these events are are operating on pretty pretty low budgets, and the tools out there right now are really too expensive, and they're hard to implement. Um, and so, on a on a very high level, how will the new tool work, and and what are some of those things it will track? So we're building this on a on a web interface, so it can be accessed from your iPhone, a tablet, laptop, whatever you have available to you. But really, what it's going to do is you. You upload a video, you either upload a, video, a still video that you have from a previous event, or you can have streaming video coming from a camera into it. You upload that, you put in a couple input parameters, such as um, the use of the assembly space, um, an estimate of the area, and then uh, it automatically calculates what, your, uh, what the number of people in that space should be, what that threshold is, and you hit auto capture on the video and it starts assessing this at different intervals. And then um, it's, it estimates the uh, the crowd count and crowd density um, of that space at the time. And it tracks this over time. So every interval, whatever interval you'd like it to be captured at, it tracks that in a, in a trending graph. So you can see the, the profile of the crowd over time. It also produces density maps. So you can see kind of a heat map of, you know, where the highest densities are within the crowd at areas that could be problematic. And so when do you um, expect this tool to be available? So this, this work has been funded by uh, NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, through a federal grant. So that grant will be wrapping up in October. And at that time, we expect to release a uh, draft report. Um, along with uh, the tool and all the code and everything affiliated with the tool will be released, made freely available um, at that time, along with like an implementation guide um, for people to be able to implement this at their own facilities as well. For more information on the foundation project, check out Hutchison's feature story in the current issue of NFPA Journal. A link to that piece, Crowdsource, is included in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like these Learn Something New videos, please let us know by leaving a comment. Like it, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to NFPA's YouTube channel for more content like this.